This week's Press Box, presented by Zeglin. Hello, everybody, and welcome again to the Press Box, a weekly presentation of the Dispatch and the Rock Island Argus, uh, where our sports staff gets together, huddles up, talks about the issues of the day. Week two of the football season on our plate this week. I'm Steve Tappa. This is my fellow sports staffer, Daniel McCarowitz. And uh, everybody talks about week one to week two, biggest difference in the football season. You want to see the most growth out of your team, and uh, there's some big six teams that definitely need that. Well, I guess you got to start off with Alleman after a uh, 50-7 loss against Peoria High with their first 40-point loss in 138 games since 2001. Wow. A lot of people were just really shocked, not like we said earlier, not that Alleman lost, but, but they were how they lost. By yeah. How they were humbled. And, and let's be honest, a team last year loses it, number one ranked, loses their season opener. Loses again in the regular season, goes on to the state semifinals. Two years ago, lose their their heart and soul. Tom knowing blown out knee uh, against Rock Island, come back and go to the state championship game. I mean, if there's a program right now that can handle some adversity, that can find a way to figure things out, it's it's Allman under Coach David Jager. I mean, continually they find a way to overcome adversity, to find a way to be successful. Yeah, I have I have a lot of faith in that mm-hmm. coaching staff, and, and they they have some pieces back. Right. They'll be they'll be okay, but they do have a tough. Uh, game here in week two uh, with Galesburg. Galesburg coming off a comeback win at Moline. Um, you know, Moline, similar attack to Alleman. You control the ball, control the line of scrimmage, uh, pounded the ball. Galesburg got big plays to score. So really, Alleman's challenge will be, can they play better defensively and can they move the football this time? I mean, I, I don't see Alleman playing bigs two consecutive weeks. Not saying they're going to go down there and win, but at the same time, I think they'll be better prepared and they'll be able to, to handle this one. Yeah. Now, of course, another big proven game, Rock Island mm-hmm. hosting Peoria Richwoods. Uh, Richwoods, a, a fabled program just like Rock Island. Uh, they got humbled last yeah. week by Peoria Notre Which, Dame. Which, to me, I think up. it's the best. Out of the 10 teams, I think Peoria Notre Dame is the best team in the mid in the old six, mid- Midwest the Western yeah. Big Six. Yeah. And Rock Island having to deal some adversity with Prince Galay still in the hospital with that with that complication from the dislocated knee but Rock Island at home under coach stores they should be all right they have a little bit more to play for Richwood's kind of reeling you're wondering how they're going to be able to bounce back from a drubbing that they took on last Friday night of course last week was uh weather impacted Correct. Rock Island won 19 to 12 at manual kind of a whole home win yeah in, in my mind but then again Richwood's not coming off a great win, a Correct. great loss either. Correct. You wonder how much weather impacted any team. Well, I guess we'll see this week. Correct. Next one would be, uh, I'm curious to see about Moline. UT. Well, Moline, 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 Moline at Peoria High. Moline at Peoria High because look, let's look at let's look at Moline. They again turnover problems. I mean that just has killed them yeah. in the ten games under Matt Woods. Peoria High is coming off uh, such a huge win, and you wonder. How Peoria is going to react to such a huge win? Are they going to are they going to come in overconfident? Or are they going to come in focused? I mean, that's going to be the key to see. I, I know Moline will go in and kind of fired up to to atone for what happened last week. But you have to wonder what's going to happen with Peoria High. How are they going to handle the, the big win that they had last week? The success, week? Correct, yeah. Can correct. they handle the success? Moline's going to be fired up. You're right, and, and they can only do what they can do. Right, right? And, and they really did a nice job of shoving the ball down Gaffer's yes. throat, rushing wise. Yes. I imagine they'll do that again. Yeah. yeah, and I mean that's what you got to do: control the ball. Control the ball. Don't don't give Peoria High the ball. Don't turn the ball over. They should they should be able to be competitive. Uh, UT also uh, matched up against Manuel this week. Um, uh, UT, of course, coming off a loss at Quincy, Played probably better the, the second, probably game. the Big Six favorite right now, yeah. and, and they didn't fare that bad. No, I mean, other than a couple empty drives in the first half, they played better in the second half. The read option between. Andrew Tynes and Dakari Marge was really effective. UT won the turnover battle. They just, the empty possessions the first half killed. So if UT can can sustain the drive, they'll be all right. Lots of games around the area. Hopefully we see you at a ball game. If not, we'll see you back here next week on the Press Box.